Hello, welcome to the inaugural episode of SAP Sample Spotlight. My name is Brian Bernard. I'm with the SAP Community and Developer Relations team, and I look after the organization on github.com called SAP Samples. The Samples Org is a place where SAP folks can publish example code, scripts, uh, event-related exercises, and other little nuggets of wisdom that uh, showcase a product feature or help with uh, integration of an SAP solution. In these segments, we'll take a closer look at some of these cool snippets and projects and the people who created them. Today, I'm joined by developer advocate DJ Adams and our first ever guest, Antonio Maradiaga. Antonio is um, an integration developer as part of SAP Ariba's Procurement Delivery Center. And he also just recently finished a fellowship as a product advocate with the SAP Developer Advocates team. At the end of his little tenure there, he produced a very cool repository that we'll be looking at shortly, the SAP Ariba Extensibility Samples Repository. Welcome, DJ. Welcome, Antonio. Thanks, Brian. So, yeah, DJ here. And uh, I've been looking at this Ariba Extensibility Samples uh, repo uh, this morning in the SAP Samples organization on GitHub. And it looks pretty fantastic. So, Antonio, before we start to dig into the details, can you just give us an idea of what the repo uh, provides and why you created it? Okay. So first of all, thank you for having me in the first episode of the SAP Samples uh, Spotlight. Uh, the whole idea behind the Ariba Accessibility Samples uh, repository is uh, basically to create, a, like, to showcase the, the accessibility options available to SAP Ariba developers, okay? Uh, and in here, you'll be able to learn about the SAP Ariba Accessibility options that are available. So uh, the repository includes uh, um, code samples also includes uh, exercises and explanations on um, on how integrations uh, with uh, other SAP products can be achieved, for example. Um, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, I'm looking at the, um, the extensibility samples main readme, and there's, there's a ton of content that is inside the repo, but also linked externally as well but before we look at the stuff that you're linking to i mean there's a whole host of topics in here that are covered in this repo you're talking about apis you're talking about cloud connector you're talking about integrating with other sap products one thing that really catches my eye uh, being a developer is uh, is the apis topic can you tell us a little bit about the apis when it comes to uh, extending uh, sap ariba Okay, so uh, in SAP Ariba as such, we are not able to to do any coding right. within the within the application, right? So um, something like an in-app extensibility is not possible. So if we want to extend SAP Ariba, we need to do it outside of the product. Okay, so hence why uh, the APIs are quite important because uh, via the APIs is how we can interact with uh, SAP Ariba data. That can be to extract data from SAP Ariba, or it could be to actually create uh, objects in Ariba. So for example, create uh, contracts or create purchase orders or create purchase requisitions uh, in SAP Ariba. Uh, so we have APIs. Uh, we also have uh, web services that are available for developers to, to interact with, uh, with that Ariba data. Um, to give you an idea, a common use case uh, is uh, to retrieve um, reporting data from the SAP Ariba analytical reporting APIs or the operational reporting APIs. Uh, in that case, uh, developers will be extracting the data from SAP Ariba and sending it to, to, to a database or to a data warehouse solution, for example. Um, gotcha. Hence why the APIs are so important. Yeah, I mean, all, always super important for the surface of a product, right? I mean, I yeah. just want to understand what we're actually looking at here. I mean, you've got links to uh, to blog posts and links to other Ariba documentation. It's almost like, you know, this repo is like a, a one-stop shop type thing. This is where people should come first to find out about extensibility to uh, SAP Ariba. But if we dig in, you know, what sort of things do we actually have here in the repo? I mean, the repo, uh, you know, many repos out there are, you know, focused on code and configuration. 
but there's a lot of sort of tutorial style, a lot of uh, uh, didactic style content here as well, right? Yes, you you know the the one of the things that I wanted to solve with this repository is that when I started my journey on developing extensions for SAP Ariba, I was overwhelmed by the amount of information that is available out there, right. uh, which is dispersed across multiple websites. So for example, you have Ariba Connect, or you have the SAP community, uh, you have the Ariba developer portal. And personally, I found it quite hard to, to make sense of all of it. So so that's why, in the end, like I ended up creating this uh, sort of a, one-stop uh, shop for, for someone interested in extending SAP Ariba. So here you will find, for example, exercises, uh, as it was mentioned before, we will find uh, code samples, um, and uh, also it will give you an idea of how SAP Ariba can end up integrating with uh, with other SAP products, and even non-SAP products. Like There's an example here on how to integrate with non-SAP products. Oh, yeah. Can, and, we, can and, we take a look at th that, for example? I mean, I'd love to dive in <clears throat> somewhere, right, and just have a, have a better feel for what's inside here. Yeah, just go to Topics. OK, in this directory here. And uh, with Topics, uh, Integrations. Integrations. And here, for example, we see uh, CPI Open Connectors. So nice. if, we, okay. if you yeah. just jump in. So this directory here is also referenced in this little readme you've got. Uh, SAP Cloud Integration and Open Connectors. So basically, that leads to the same place, right? Exactly. So in the end, if you look at what's in here, like uh, this is basically uh, a step-by-step -step exercise on how this can be achieved. So in this case, uh, we're using SAP Cloud Integration in order to extract the data from uh, from the SAP Ariba APIs. Uh, in this particular exercise, is the analytical data. And then what we're doing is that we're using Open Connectors, which is a functionality of uh, SAP Cloud Integration, uh, and uh, in order to push uh, the data to, to a third-party data warehouse. In this case, it's uh, Google's BigQuery. Uh, okay. So you will see that, for example, yeah, you will see that in the exercise, it contains a uh, step-by-step -step how you can end up doing. It also contains a link to a YouTube playlist, when in that case, if you're not familiar with, uh, with what the Ariba Developer Portal is, you can jump in there and just uh, uh, check out uh, the videos and get familiar with that uh, before you can keep on going with uh, with the exercise. So the, in essence, the general idea of uh, any exercise that's available in the repository is that someone that's not familiar with uh, SAP Ariba can can just come in and um, and know how to how to basically achieve uh, this particular exercise. Yeah. So it's like a single point of you know rich information. You've got the links to the, the videos on YouTube. I can see you've got a link to a blog post here as well for for those who prefer starting out by reading something. Some people prefer you know yeah. watching something to start out. And you've also got links to tutorials in the uh, tutorial navigator, developers.sap.com, and links to other resources as well relating to you know what you're talking about. That's amazing. That's exactly. amazing. So each one. Well, of you know, these... especially when. Go for it, go for it. Apologies. So especially when you're talking about integrations, like uh, you're talking about multiple products, hence why it's important not including just uh, the Ariba specific uh, components, but also it's like, uh, like in this case, we're using SAP BTP, and that's why we included a tutorial there on how to get started with SAP BTP. Um, also additional information regarding uh, the third party data warehouse that you can end up uh, connecting to. So hence why the link uh, is included there. Yeah. Nice, nice. And so each one of these directories here, each one of these sections within, for example, the integration topic, you know, is equally as rich and equally as sort of forthcoming with information as to how to really get started, right? Correct. So in, in this case, uh, there are exercises on how to achieve integration between Ariba and SAP Analytics Cloud by using uh, SAP Data Intelligence or HANA Cloud as well. Yep. So if you want to send it to, to HANA Cloud, that's possible. Cool, cool. So much, to learn. so much to learn. Um, we're just about out of time, but is there anything else you wanted to add here, uh, Antonio? Uh, yes, you know, so um, this repository is uh, constantly changing. So we are uploading uh, new content uh, uh, frequently. Uh, so for example, at the moment, we don't have any any code for, for bots, uh, but uh, some something is coming. So we're working on uh, sample code for bots uh, using Intelligent RPA. Also, uh, there's some uh, sample app code that's coming uh, Ooh, where nice. we're going to be calling the Ariba APIs directly from ERP. 
Uh, and I think the last thing is that uh, contributions are welcome. So for example, if you're someone with uh, experience re extending SAP Ariba and you've written an extension and you want to share it with other Ariba developers, uh, you can contribute it, uh, your code to, to this repository if you want. So make sure to, to watch the repo, uh, fork oh, yeah. it, clone it, and then just uh, create a pull request and uh, we can collaborate on it and, and then your, your contribution will be published. Fantastic. Nothing more to add from me. That's uh, that's a perfect explanation. Thanks, Antonio. And uh, yeah, to wrap up, back over to you, Brian. Thank you, Antonio, for this uh, excellent and very contra comprehensive contribution. Um, would love to see more of this. Love to see some action on this. So yeah, check out this repository and more cool stuff on github.com slash SAP hyphen samples. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.